Hello, today we are going to see how to solder a Game Boy Color uh, charging kit. This board allow you, allow your uh, Game Boy Color, use a Lion battery and charge it using a, a USB-C. Okay, this kit include, we are going to see now, this kit include this board, okay, uh, this frame include inside two boards, the main board with the USB, the battery connector and the electronic for checking the battery and also the light board. In this model, the Game Boy Color model, we have uh, lights in the main board and also in the light board. Why two times? Why twice? Because maybe sometimes, uh, sorry, maybe some, some people cannot uh, have enough experience about soldering and maybe it's enough for them to use only the main board. And for the people uh, that is good enough at soldering, of course, they can put the other board. Before to start in, I recommend you to check your board is working well. I, I check, okay, but it's good if you can check by yourself. Okay, we have here a, a small battery only for testing. This is not enough for playing, but for testing is perfect. We can we can connect here. It's a, a, a bit only a bit difficult because this I think is, is the most smaller uh, connector for batteries. And we need also a, a USB-C because now it's in my frame. Yes, my you will need to take out first the frame. I will. I will do now. I forgot. Uh, okay, you will need a, a one of these. In the version 1.4 or less, you need one of these. But I hope in the next version 1.5, I hope you can you can break the board without any, any tool. So in this case, I can take my my tool, put maybe in this side, and cut one time, two, and three. I don't know if you can see well. I I will put the light for the last one. Okay, and three. And how you can see now, I I liberate I I release the board. Okay. Uh, okay, I have here my board. You can test now. We can connect the battery and put the USB-C. When I turn on my battery, you can see now how I will turn off the light of my phone. How? Uh, no, sorry. Now. How the board has two lights. The light on the board, the main board, the charging board, and the small board for that include the lights. If your battery is full, now it's red because it's charging. If your battery is full, or if you disconnect it, you will get a, a green light. So you can test uh, both colors are working well. Now is 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 blinking. The red light is blinking because uh, the uh, the chips cannot detect the battery because you have disconnect. But if you connect again, this is charging, and this is working well. Okay. I remove this. The kit includes also two cables. One cable is for your battery. Maybe you bought the battery in any battery, the best battery that you were able to to find um, this uh, is possible to put in your video game, okay? It's okay. But maybe the, the cable or the the cable that the battery has is, is not with the uh, right connector. So it's the reason because my kit includes the, the good cable and connector. You can remove this tape, this yellow tape, remove and solder this cable that included the kit in your battery. It's a, a bit difficult, but you can try. I did with my small battery. Or you can cut here, put the new cable and 
Yes, only it's easier. What more? And the kill also includes this cable. This is a cable with three wires. In this case, the color can change. In this, in this case, it's orange, uh, purple, and brown, but I have many colors. The color doesn't matter. Why? Because if you want to install the the light board, you will need you will need to join. I don't know. One second, I will put the light again. You will need to join these three pads here. One, two, three. With this another three pads. One, two, three. This is uh, for the red and green lights. This light board uh, has three colors. Why? Because the status the status light uh, you have to solder in the other side. This includes two pads more. So this small board is really tiny. Is really tiny. Has uh, five pads. You will see how to install after. Okay. I think with this we know everything about the kit, and we can install it. Of course, uh, we need a, a Nintendo video game uh, console, a Game Boy Color. How oh, you can see, I, I have already removed all, all components because, yes, we need to install this board here. And we can do this only if we remove the battery connector, no, sorry, the jack connector. Um, some components. These components are not necessary because are for the jack and the battery, the AAA battery. So we can remove these components that I will show you now in my computer because I don't have on my board and this. Also, the urine, the original light, uh, red light, this one. If you want to install the small board, maybe you can wait until the last step and keep here because maybe you think or you feel that it's difficult. So for this component, wait until the last time, the last step. What more? Okay, I will show you now in the computer, in my computer, what do you need to remove? Uh, what is this? Okay, this is the the quick guide that I made, but I think it's not enough. Is the reason because I made uh, I'm making now a, a video. Okay, how you can see in the screen, you will need to remove this jack connector and all things that I I put a, a red square. Uh, this th I think this is a, f a fuse uh, and other things I don't know. Looks like this is a capacitor. Uh, another, this are the other, anyway, doesn't matter for what is that. The important thing is that your video game uh, doesn't need this kind of things if you install this board. Uh, because I remove already these things, I cannot show you how to, to, to do, but don't worry. I have here a, a board that I got from my, I don't know, from one box, okay? And I will show you how to remove some components very, very fast, okay? Because for us, the important thing is remove the things. We don't need to keep in the good condition. We don't need to use for anything after that. So only the most important is taking out all of them and be sure that we are not broken in or Nintendo Game Boy Color board is the most important. Okay. I don't know if you can see, I, I, I will try one second, I will try to put my phone near. Okay, I think maybe you can see better now. Uh, sorry, I forgot to turn on the my solder iron. Oh, I haven't told you. You will need, of course, a, a solder iron with a small... Uh, I, I forgot... Uh, Tip, I think. I forgot tip. This is about 0 0.5 millimeters. If you have a big one, maybe one millimeter, one millimeter and a half, maybe two, you can use because you can use for the main board. Maybe for the light board, you will have a problem. 
depends on, on your skills. But 0 0.5 is perfect. One millimeter might be as well. You need thin, thin, you need solder wicks. I don't know if the correct name, solder, this, to remove the stress of thin. If you have a Captain tape, it's good. Also, it's good if you have flux, because this will help you a lot with the soldering. And not only that, this will help you with the removing the components that you don't need. And for the last step, you will need instant glue to fix, not to fix, no, to keep this cable in the correct place. And this another tool, I forgot the name. And maybe Twisters, I think, is the name. I'm sorry, because I don't know many vocabulary about these kind of things. Okay, I think my solder iron is ready. Please, now imagine this is your Game Boy color board. I want to remove, for example, this. These both components. These both components are similar as the size of your Game Boy color. So you can see this and this are almost the same. So I will show you how to remove. First, if you have flux, put a bit, a bit or a lot, it doesn't matter because you can clean after with alcohol. Maybe a lot also is okay. You need also tin and your solder iron. So now put a lot of tin here and put here and how you can see, I remove. This is it. We don't care about if, about this component. We care about the board, and the board is perfect. After cleaning, you will see how it's perfect. I can put again a lot tin. We need a, a, a ball of tin because we when we have a ball of tin, we can touch both parts, both sides of the component, and hot both at the same time. Is the reason because it's easy to remove. Okay, perfect. Now, I need to clean the stress of tin. Why? Because on our Game Boy Color board, we need to put our uh, charging kit like this. This will be like a sandwich or something like that. So in the middle cannot be any, any tin in, uh, annoying, annoying the, the correct place of, of this board. So we need to clean. For cleaning, you can put more th more flux if you if you think that you need. This is cheap, so I recommend you put this. This helps you a lot. We need this, the solder wick. I think is the pronunciation, okay? And put here, I, okay? The camera is okay now. And put your solder iron here. And move slowly. Okay. And now with one, I don't know how to call this, tissue, it's not a tissue, but it's like the, the, the thing that you use for cleaning your glasses, but this is from China and it's bad quality, but for the wash it's perfect. You can use maybe a kitchen towel like, like this, why not? This is a bit dirty, but you can use this, doesn't matter. Take a, a alcohol, put like this, okay. Like this, and clean. How you can see, wait one second, I focus the camera. How you can see is perfect. This is the thing that we need on our uh, Game Boy Color. If you need to remove a big one, you will see it's the same, okay? I don't want to spend too much time explaining this because but it's always the same, the same operation. Take, sorry, the camera. Okay. Put a lot of tin. Maybe we need to clean a bit of tip. Okay. Now it's clean. Put around a lot of tin. And put on the top of the component that you want to desolder. Wait a few seconds to to hot enough and not this is a big component, this needs more time. 
my I need more team. Oh, this is a big one. Yes. Okay, more. I will try to remove both. The problem of these components are on the side, on their uh, left side, is a um, ground plane. So all board is taking the hot from my iron. Iron, no, I cannot remove. No, this is okay. Yes, I can. I can. I was able. It's difficult because the board is taking the hot, and then the, the component is not is not uh, hot enough. Okay, and okay, remove. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now we can put more flux again. I think it's enough on the board, but okay, we can put more. Why not? Okay, come on. Aye, okay, perfect. And now we can take, we can clean the iron, solder iron. Oh, you can see this is a bit full of tin. It's better if you, you cut and take a, a new one. And put and clean. Okay, now we can we can. Okay, how? Okay, I think the camera is put like this. We can put like this. Wait and move. This take more time because this is is a big component, a big part. And now this side. This the left side is, is hard. And I more. Okay, again here. Be sure you remove all tin. I will clean again with alcohol. I think I have from the last time. Okay, okay, focus the camera. How oh, you can see, this is perfectly clean. Maybe here it's not clean. Can you see? It's maybe it's difficult. Yes, like this. You can see here, this is it's not clean. You need to clean on your Game Boy Color board. Okay, with this, I don't know. Using this way, you can remove all components. You can remove. Sorry, the camera. Like this, okay, better. Uh, you can remove this, 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 all of this, okay? This also. Don't remove this one, okay? Please check your your the documentation or the video when I saw how to which thing you you have to remove. Please keep tips, it's important, and keep this as also. But the other things you can remove. Now I will show you how to remove the jack connector. This is hard. Why? Because this has five, five legs, and you have to hot at the same time. It's impossible. Okay, it's super hard. I think doesn't. You will lose many time, and you will desperate. You will be desperate. So if you have a iron station, you can remove using air. But mm, I think you will not have. Okay. So I recommend you, because you don't need the jack connector for anything, I recommend you take this tool, I forgot the name. Uh, okay, take this tool. We have here another connector. This is most similar than the other one. So we can use this. If you try to desolder, in this case it's three legs. In the Game Boy Color War it's five. If you try to desolder to remove the tin of all uh, legs at the same time is really hard. You will need uh, a solder iron with a big tin, a big tip, sorry. I have this super hot and nah, it's hard. So it's better, again, it's like with this board, it's better. You destroy this. Can you see? This is super easy. Destroy, because you don't need the connector for anything. Destroy. Destroy. Take your time. Destroy. Uh, here is a bit difficult because 
there are a lot of plastic. Okay, destroy. You can see, 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 see. Sorry. <laughs> destroy. Be careful with your eyes. If you are wearing glasses, better. Okay, destroy, destroy. Okay, now I have all legs separate. Can you see? Okay, let me focus. We want something like this. Because now, now we can put a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of flus and tin. Maybe it's better in the other side. Uh, okay, a lot. Now a lot of flux. Okay, I will start with this one. A lot of tin, put a lot, a lot, it's okay, it's okay. And you can uh, press with your iron to help the leg to fall down. Oh, sorry, you are not watching. Uh, oh, it's hard, it's hard, this one. I think the quality of the iron that the company used for making this board is not good enough and now it's difficult to melt. Maybe that or why not hot enough the, the, the leg? Okay, hot, 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 hot and use the tool, not yet. Yes, can you see? I removed the leg. So you need to do this with the five legs that the jack connector has. To remove the tin, because you need this hole empty of tin, you can use this tool. One second, I will take from my. I... You can use this tool. It's good. This is good. But I, I, I have another way to do. And this uh, usually works better. You can try with the with the tool, okay? But you can do without any tool. You just hot here. I will clean the tip. Hot here. And when you see this is liquid, the tin is liquid. Maybe you can wait, wait a few. You need to get up your hand and get down and uh, hit the your table. And and then all tin will fall down, and the hole will be super clean. You will, you will see, okay? Are you ready? In one time, I clean the hole. It's the thing that we need. If you want, you can use this now to clean more, but you don't need, because you will full of thin after, okay? We need this. You need to do with five legs, remove the legs one by one, and then put a lot of tin, melt the tin, and do like this, and the tin, how oh, you can see it here, this is the tin that I take out. I will repeat, okay? I will put tin to, to fill the hole. Okay, you can see, it's, it's not hole anymore. I close very well, and now, Keep here, uh, I don't know, five seconds, I think is enough, maybe ten. And then get up your board with your iron touching, you, you have to touch, keep touching. And then hit the table very fast and a bit strong. All right. I remove all. I will clean the flux and you will see how the hole is perfectly clean. Oh, this is a bit hot. It's better if you wait a few seconds before cleaning. I'm, I'm burning my finger. Okay. I focus, please. Uh, okay. Can you see? This is the thing that you need with your Game Boy Color board. And you can remove all tin from all holes. Five holes in this case. Okay. Let me clean this because it's super dirty and we will continue. 
Okay, I cleaned that. Uh, something that I forgot, but I told you it's better if you wait until the last step. For removing the light, it's the same. I don't, uh, I, I don't know if I have I work with light. But it's like this, okay? Imagine that this capacitor is a light, okay? You can do this with the light. A bit more. And now, can you see the legs? Are here. You can turn over the, the board and remove one and the other one. And finish, okay? But please, for removing the light, wait until the last step because Maybe you felt that you are not good enough and it's difficult for you soldering the board, so you can do it in the last step. Following, following me and you will see how to do it. Okay, I will show you well this Game Boy Color board. How you can see, I remove all these components. I remove the jack connector and this is clean already. I remove the light, uh, the red light. Here is where, if you want, you need to solder the light board. Okay, this is a bit difficult, is the reason because wait until the last step. So we are ready. We will solder this board. Please don't cut the light board yet. Uh, maybe it's good for you. Okay, in the first, second and third version of this board, I think, the main board doesn't include lights in this, these lights, okay? But this, yes, so maybe it doesn't matter if you cut now or not. But in the first version, you don't have another way to know if you install, if you have, if you have installed, installed, oh, sorry, the board well, okay? So it's better if you keep here. What we need to solder it? We need to take the board put here, can you see this corner, you have to touch, touch very well, center the board, okay, and we need to put thin here, this is the positive uh, pad, and this one, this is uh, the ground, only with two pads, this board works. It's easy, but it's not strong enough to uh, put in and take out the connector. Is the reason because in the other side we have uh, four four pads for making this board super strong. But before soldering this, check your board and video game uh, Game Boy Color board is working well, because if you solder these two pads and the other five pads will be super hard to remove it. You will need, a, I think, a, a aid station. Okay. Oh, this is dirty a lot. Uh, one second. Much better. So, we will do this now. I, I have the phone well. I think you can see well. What we need now? We need our solder iron. We will solder first the I think the ground. Okay, put a bit thin. Now only a bit. Okay, we want to to keep in the place only for checking and if it's not in the and then we can check if it's good enough or not or we need to move. Okay, only one. A bit, a bit, put here, okay, finish. And another the one is, I think you can see, well, I will focus a bit more. You can see, okay, stop the camera moving. Okay, now, put your, mm, your solder iron, put a bit thin here, okay, a bit more, okay, enough, only for testing. Now we can we can connect the battery. I need to take the battery because the small one is empty. Uh, okay. 
you can put only in one position. The the red should be must be on the left. So we can connect and because we I don't have light here, but I think you should listen. Maybe I will put a again. Okay, I will turn on what is that switch here. I hope you can listen. Why it doesn't have sound? Uh, yes, doesn't have sound, sorry. Can you listen now? This doesn't work. But you, I think you can listen. So now it's working. Only two points for working, okay? You don't need any cable, it's good. Now we can test. Uh, the charging is, 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 oh sorry, I take out the battery and I need to keep, keep your battery, put your uh, USB, uh, turn on your, your battery, in my case I have this so I need to touch the here, and you can see this is still working, of course, and this is, yes this is working, because I, I, turn, I, I forgot to do this. So it's good, it's good. So we can remove this, we can remove this. And now that this is working well, again, in this case, we have double light, so it doesn't matter. But if you have, I think everybody who received a old board uh, installed this already. But if you didn't, if you haven't done this yet, now is the time where you have to uh, broken this take like this take like this and I don't I will try to put near you can listen maybe not watch but I hope listen uh, maybe it's good if you take a cutter I think is the name in English and clean a bit I don't know if you can see uh, in a bit, maybe you don't need, but I don't know. I like. I think you don't need, but I like. <laughs> okay, now it's better. And now, bef uh, now and before to solder the other five parts. In my case, because this is the second, third, fourth time that I put the board, I need to check that this connector is in the perfect place because my video game already include the hole. I need this much because I don't want to make a hole bigger. Okay? But only in my case. In your case you don't have any hole. So you will make the hole after installing your board. But in my case I need to check right now. Or I will have a problem. Okay. This is like this. Maybe I will put my phone a bit far. One second. Okay, uh, okay. This like this. I need to put this like how? Put. I think it's like. Okay, like this and like this. Okay. Like this and now put close. Okay, uh, one second. No, I don't know how I'm putting this. Um, why? What happened? I cannot close well. Okay. Okay, I think it's good. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. I think I I I, I uh, a link the connector in in the same place than before. I can take my USB for checking it. Put perfect. Okay, it's perfect. I can continue the installation. In my case, in your case, you don't need because you don't have any hole, not yet. Okay, I will take out the board. Okay, take out this. Of course, this board works with a new IPS screen. I, I IPS, I think is the name. Anyway, because now we know this board is working. In my case, this is in the good place. Uh, I forgot to tell you something. 
but it's something that you need to do in the last steps. If you are confident and you are able to install this bar, I recommend you in the last step using your tin to remove to this light. We will, sorry, we will do in the last step again because we don't we don't want to have double of lights for what. And if you are using a transparent case, this I think this will look like terrible. Look terrible. Anyway, what we need now? Turn over your board. And you should you should see you should be able to see how the pads on my kit board are aligned with the holes. I step this one because I, I haven't put for the design of my board. I step this one, we have this, 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 and this. This is strong enough to keep. This is enough to keep uh, this board strong, very strong. Okay, you don't don't be worried about take out and taking the connector many many times the USB. So what we need now? Okay, I hope you can see. Sorry. What we need now? Okay, like like this is perfect. Take your iron tip. Now is is when it's good if your iron iron solder iron the tip of your solder solder iron. Sorry is uh, about 0.5. Why? Because you can put in the hole like this, take tin like this, and remove. And this is soldered. Only this. It's easy. Only with this is soldering. It's soldered. It's soldered. Sorry. So we can, we need to repeat. We need to repeat this. Put again you have a big one, it's okay. You can touch the top, the top of your pad. Put the, the, I will do like this. This one, imagine that this tip is, is, is bigger. You can touch here. Keep, uh, because you need to keep a bit more. Keep and then fill the hole. Maybe you need to do, to be sure that the, the tin is touching both, both pads. The charging board and of course, the, the Game Boy Color hole. You can fool a bit more, but not too much. Oh, I forgot something something important to tell you. It's good if you have a carton tape, or maybe an, any uh, any tape is, is good. If you have any, any tape, you can take a bit to protect the start and select buttons, because are too much near. If you put tin here, I think this we have we will have you will have problems for playing okay so don't forget this yeah i forgot <laughs> don't forget to protect in like this maybe you can protect all of them but this is enough okay maybe you can protect all why not so now we can put this one we can put inside or touching on the top maybe inside now full Okay, now this I did, but I, I, I repeat. I, I put a bit more maybe. You can see I can put, take out, and finish. This night super strong the board. We can clean with alcohol, and you will see how this is on that. Okay, we can remove this, we don't need any more. You can see. Again, now is, is this board is, is brown a bit, or burn, because I, I needed to remove this board with the iron station many times. And after many times, pues, the, the, the white, uh, color, this white color is burn, but you will not have this problem in your case because you don't need to test many times these kind of boards. Now, if we want, we can put a bit more, uh, a bit more tin. Only a bit more is not necessary a lot, and be careful, don't touch the other pad, okay? The other leg. You can put a bit more, not too much.
to be sure this is perfect okay maybe a bit more here you can see I think now better you can put a bit more here perfect finish we have finish finish it we can clean a bit we can clean why not it's a bit difficult but we can clean sorry you are not watching and this is finished I think this part until here is easy and if you feel confident you can continue now the second part if you are not confident about soldering you can close you can make the hole I will show you you need to cut the case like this because the connector will be in, like in this position okay you can take out and take in without opening the cell in the case you have to cut like this and the hole the USB I don't know if you can see uh, I don't know how to put this uh, okay I think the original connector the original hole is over there or maybe in the center yes I think in the center so you need to make the hole uh, bigger take your time to make the hole well okay now is the second step what we need we need our mini board this mini board we can use in my case I like to use uh, scissors to cut here a bit maybe he... I'm not sure if you need but again I like it so you can do like this can you see it's better much better and now what we need to do okay take your mini board put on your table take tin and put one, only one point doesn't matter with a ball of tin and like this okay finish if you want you can clean again and I will show you how this looks like uh, can you see I don't know this mini bar in this position okay the three parts or points uh, must be outside okay you can see and the lights inside we need to put this here trying to align well you can press with your finger and then hold the other side but this is going to be hot so maybe you can don't use don't use tape to put because if you put tape you cannot move the board you can protect your finger or maybe use the um, I forgot uh, use this but I think it's easier if you protect your finger it's only a few seconds okay you can do like this and then you can move your finger on the board okay only like this and now I can hold maybe a bit thin one second one second a bit thin to get a ball and now I can I can touch both uh, holes at the same time and I'm feeling how the board is touching the and I felt hot my finger maybe you have to put two or, or three layers of <laughs> tape and now can you see my finger can you see the board is in the correct place only with this we can try if this works how oh, easy put your battery uh, like this turn over uh, turn on and doesn't work yet why not uh, it's 
Okay. I have a problem with my batteries. I use my batteries and I connect and disconnect many times, and sometimes this uh, doesn't uh, doesn't do a good connection. I think it's that, and if it's not that, I need to let me check my USB. Okay, now it's working. Sometimes, I don't know why, when you connect your battery the first time, this doesn't want to turn on. You first need to put the battery or your charger, only one second, and then you can see how I will turn off the light. You can, you can see now, I think, I hope, how is this is turned on. Yeah. But only why. This is when you turn off, turn on. Can you see well? I will, I think I, you can see now better. This is going to be now your red light, okay? You know that your uh, Game Boy Color is working because the white light is on. When it's red, it's charging. When it's green, it's full. If you are playing and your battery is not full, the light will be like pink color because both or both lights, red and white, is pink color. And if your battery is full, of course, you can disconnect or you can still uh, continue playing and the light will be like light green okay you can see it's working well perfect okay let's continue what more we need to do now oh sorry i removed my phone from the my tripod okay what now is the I think soldering the board is not the difficult part of the light board. The difficult part is soldering the cables. Because the pads are so tiny, so small. And we have to put three there and three there. How to do? Okay. First, I forgot, I will clean. We can clean this because we have finished. We can clean. If you have a, a brats, I think it's the name, you can do this and you will clean much better. Maybe a bit more is more alcohol. is perfect now okay now is the time for soldering the cables this you should have this something like this we need to separate a bit like this and you can you need we need to remove the plastic I like to use a scissor for this we can do like this only a bit we don't need a lot I don't know if you can see, it's half a millimeter, I think, one millimeter. You can do one millimeter and then cut. Try to do the same level of taking out the plastic. One second. Okay, I think I have. Can you see? I hope you can see. And now, we don't need long like this. We can uh, try to, I don't know, to join again. It's okay. Something like this, I think, is good. The color doesn't matter. If you have orange, uh, red, you can try to put this in the positive path. And the other two, color, uh, two colors that you ha your cable uh, has in the other two pads. But doesn't matter. What do you need to do? You need to join the plus with the plus here. Plus with plus, C with C, and D with D. Plus is the positive, C is charging, and D is done. Doesn't matter the color. Only join in the correct, um, in the correct way. 
okay? Before to soldering the cable, you has you have to put a bit thin, but be careful. Don't touch the components. If you put too too much near, you will remove the components and will be difficult for you put in the place. This is a very very tiny board. Take your time, okay? I will try to put this near nearest. Okay, one second. I think like this is better for you. I hope you can see now better. Clean your soldering on as much as you can. Put your uh, soldering on on the left. Start on the left because you will move from the left to the right. Okay, I don't know if you can see. I put a bit thin. You don't need a lot. Okay, maybe you can put a bit, a bit uh, plus. Oh, sorry. Don't too much because the board is small. I will clean before because this is dirty. Okay, now a bit, only a bit. Almost nothing. And then. Okay, one a bit more, a bit. The, thin, the tip of this solder iron is full of tin. We don't want a lot. This is the difficult part. Okay, okay. I think it's enough. We can try. We can try to clean a bit to check if this is perfect or not. I will show you one second. I think I don't know if you can see. Okay, maybe this side. I don't know if you can see. Okay, the patch has a bit thin, but only a bit. What we need to do now? We we don't need more tin. It's enough with the tin that we put in this place. Now we need to join all pads because the positive. Is on the top and I have a red or orange color and I, I I like to put to match this okay I will put orange on the top but again this doesn't matter take your your shoulder iron remove all things that this can have in the tip we don't want more clean 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 very well now it's clean you can see and put the cable uh, I don't know if I can put more near it's harder Hard. Okay, I hope you can see. Maybe like this, you can see. I think. I hope you can see. I don't know. Um, okay, I put my shoulder ear on. I will start. Sorry, I touched the camera. This one first, for in my case. Okay, it's soldered. The middle, the middle is hard because I, I have my phone in the middle. Okay, and last one. Finish. I hope you can see how this joint we I, I have soldered all the three cables I think you can see now what we need we need to put this cable like this like this okay something like this I will I will put the camera far. Okay. We need to put this cable like this, like this, like this, like this. I I, I have seen because yes, I, I I should have made this video before. So is the reason because I have seen some people who put the cable like this. No, you don't need this is not beautiful. If your case is transparent, like my case. You will see and 
Maybe it's difficult for you, close the case, or... Okay, you don't need to do this. Maybe you don't need to put, like, this in this hole. Okay, no, don't do that, please. You don't need. It's better, much better. If you take the cable, this cable is enough, I think, I think is the word, to put like this. Try to keep together. Okay, put like this. As you can see, no, sorry. You can put like this, 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 and then shoulder here. Of course, if you um, take out your hand, this cable will move. Is the reason because we need the glue, this kind of glue, instant glue. We can put one drop here, put the cable, wait, put two drops more and hold here and wait, and then your cable will be... Oh, you can see, I think, this is... I don't know if you can see... Because this is the second or third time that I put okay, one cable. So you can remove after, so it's, you can remove. So I will do this. I will take my, my glue, be careful, don't put too much, we want only a bit. I will put one drop, here, maybe a bit more, okay. Put the cable in the place, don't touch with your skin, use your nail, wait one, I don't know, 10 seconds. Okay, I think, yes, I think it's enough. Again, take your, your glue, put here, I will put two times now, two, two drops, here and here, and put your cable in the place, here and here, oh, don't move please, okay, and wait. Maybe it's, it's better, drop by drop. <laughs> wait. 10 seconds or something, or something like that. Okay. The place where it's more important to put many glue is here. Because now you will need to manipulate to move the cable many times. And maybe this can separate. So put two drops maybe. But not too much near because you need to put the cable like this. Okay? So I will put one drop here, and one here, and finish. I don't need more glue. I will put the cable here, and wait. I will show you now, right now, how the cable doesn't annoy you for closing the, the case, the plastic case. Okay, I close first this for done. I don't want to throw my glue. And they, I will I can take my case. I can put this in cor the correct place. Okay, something like this. How oh, you can see? You have uh, maybe you can see better here. You have the space enough for putting your cable. It's perfect, and I think you will not able to see. Or, or maybe if your case is completely transparent, you can see a bit. Another thing that I haven't told you, and maybe you have this problem, you can see in this side, your Nintendo, um, my my Game Boy Color board has this. So maybe I I forgot, but I think you will have in this place as well. You need to remove this because this will annoy you for putting the cable. I will clean the other side. And you can see how to remove. It's, it's easy. Take your tool. Okay, I think you can see better now. Okay, put your tool and cut. Cut. If you cannot enough, you cannot cut enough. You can use your cutter. I don't know where I have. Be careful with your fingers. Don't cut your fingers. You can put maybe this. Okay, yes, and cut, might be better, be careful, don't broken your board, and cut, okay, and now it's clean, 
I think you will have this as well in this side. So you need to clean because you need to put the cable here. You can see again here, you have here, here. Is the reason because the Nintendo and any company, they make one big board with many main uh, Game Boy Color boards or many small boards and they separate. It's like, it's like my mini board. Okay. This one is for Game Boy Pocket. I need to make a video as well. They, they cut. And after cutting, you can see how there is a, a, a bit. I don't know how to say in English, but I think you, you can understand me. A bit uh, thick with that because you cut the boards, you separate the boards. Okay. What we need to do? We need to finish it. It's only three k three cables more. Clean your your solder iron. Put three drops, small one. One. Oh, uh, here no, I cannot touch. Try don't uh, burn your cable. Oh, I, I haven't cleaned yet. Well, okay, perfect. And now two draw, a second draw, drop. No, no, nothing. I will put a bit thin, not in, no, sorry, uh, flus, a bit flus. This is like magic, okay? This helps you a lot for soldering. Okay. Something like this. You can clean with alcohol again. And now is when it's a bit difficult. Here was super easy. Don't put cable because we soldered. We start started here, but in this uh, case, we need to put the uh, exactly cable. Or maybe we can. If you are not confident, we you can put like this and like this. Okay, the cable like and solder, and you have this, but it's not beautiful. So try to. If you can, if you can, if you are confident, soldering. Try to cut the exactly size. Maybe one or two millimeters more. It's okay. You can you can put like this the cable. I hope you can see well. You can put like this the cable. Like this. So that means I need to cut. Oh, come on. Focus. I need to cut like this. In this case this in this position place so I will take my tool I don't know bye bye uh, I need to cut like you can see yes like like here okay I don't need this uh, I have seen some people putting all cable no I put more a few centimeters more because maybe when you are uh, cutting the plastic, you cut too much and you need to repeat two or three times. As well, is the reason because here is good if you keep two millimeters more, okay? Yeah. Let me take the, the cutter. What we need now? We need to separate a bit the cables. I hope you can see, come on, in this side. You can, we can separate the cables. Use the some tool in my case, in my case, my scissors, and take out a few plastic, half millimeter, one millimeter is enough. Okay, this annoy me. Sorry, I think I cannot record now. It's hard. Okay, half millimeter, half no, not yet. Half millimeter, a bit more. Come on. Maybe you can use your nails. Okay, and last one. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you can see this slight brickness because the LED from my phone, I think you can see. 
We can try to join again, but remember, join. In my case, the plus uh, pad is the orange, so I need to put the orange in this case here. Orange. After the orange, in my case, I need to put the brown. So it's, let me see again. Yes. In my case, it's orange, brown, and purple. Purple, I think the name. Okay. Orange, the first one. So I need to. I think. All right, okay. Let me check again. Yes, okay, perfect. So I need to solder first the first one. This. Clean your solder iron very well. We don't want more tin. I, I hope you can see. Try to hold the cables with your fingers because if you use this to hold, when you are holding the cable, this is melting and you will make a hole in the cable if you use this. This is too much strong. So try to use your fingers to put in the good position like this. Or maybe your nail. Okay, the first one is finished. The second one. The second one is finished. Third one. Finish. For me it's easy because it's, I think I did four or five times already with my Game Boy Color and Game Boy Pocket. For you, I know you will have a bit problem, but not too much difficult, okay? We can check if this works. If this works, that means if we want, we can remove these lights, okay? How we can try this? Again, it's easy. Put your battery, the small one or the big one, anyway, doesn't matter. Put your battery. You can try if this works. No, it doesn't want to work. Doesn't, I don't know why it doesn't want to turn on. Maybe, ah oh no, this is empty. I don't know if it's 100 empty, but I will put the other one. Uh, come on. No, the first time you need the battery. I don't know why it happened this. Okay. You can see I will take I will remove the light from my phone. No. I, I will remove the light from here. You can see white color. Is is still working. Perfect. I, I can turn off. I can turn on. I can turn off. This is working. Perfect. If I put the my USB, you can see now. I can put my USB. I can turn on my battery and you can see red. And if I if the battery is full or I disconnect the battery now, you can see green. Green. If you turn on, because you can play without battery, I think. No, I don't know. Sometimes works, sometimes no. I don't know. Depends. Maybe depends on your battery, on your charger. But I think you. <laughs> You you want to play with your battery? Mm. Okay, now is is now I don't know if you can see pink. It's like pink because uh, it's like pink because both colors are turned on. And if this is is full, the color will be green. So perfect. Also, you have these lights. I think I don't want this. You can remove this. If you remove this. This will be more brightness, maybe too much. So is the reason because in in the hole of my Game Boy Color board, I put I don't know if you can see. I I, I put a, a a small LED, but without LED, only the plastic to focus or yes to focus the light and maybe take out a bit okay but with this is better i will try to put in the next version in 1.5 i will try to add this with my kit so you can put here you can put here 
and put your board. I will do now. I will show you one second. I will do. Uh, let me do. Doing that. Okay. Maybe sorry. Maybe it's now it's noisy. My family is here. Uh, you can put like this. Okay. I think like this. You can turn on. Keep holding. I think this battery is empty as well, so you can see a few. Or maybe because my my light has some plastic, I need to center well to take the light. No, but I think it's because this battery is empty. Yes, I. I have the other one. One second. Okay, I have the other one. This is for my Game Boy Color. This I'm using this for my Game Boy Pocket because I don't want to cut the case right now. And both are empty, but I think this has 50% or 80 of battery of charge. So let me try with this one. I think the white light should be more business. One second, let me try to connect this. It's a bit difficult. Okay. Okay. Okay, I need to put energy. One second. Okay. I think you can see that now it's more weakness. I don't know if the camera record this well. Put the speaker in the place. Come on. Okay. Maybe you can see better. Anyway, the, I have a problem because this is a uh, this glass is is not a plastic. It's a glass, and they haven't made well. This the hole of the glass doesn't match too much well with the hole of the case. If you have the original wall, or maybe another brand, I don't know. I, I bought this on AliExpress. I don't know, but this doesn't match well. So it's it's a problem for that. But anyway. I think with that we 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 finish this this installation. How you can how you have seen. Sorry that in the mind war is easy. But maybe the match the most difficult is remove the components, but if you don't want to keep you can you can destroy all of them. And in, in, in the big one, I mean in the jack connector, and the small one with a lot of tin you can remove it. Oh, I, I haven't done. I haven't removed these lights. I will remove now. I don't want in my case. If you want, you can keep. You can have both, but I don't want. So how we can get, take out this? We can put this very near. I, I hope you can see well. One second. Touch. Try. Don't touch the uh, headphone connector. Okay. I think you can see. Like this. I think is perfect. Okay, take your solder iron, take uh, solder iron, take tin, a drop, and put on your lights, touch, oh, I thought it's easier, but it's a bit difficult, I will try again. I think, I don't know if you can see, I hope. Yes, I think I removed it. Let me check, let me put in. Uh, maybe I, I will put a, a bit glue, a bit glue no, a bit flus. I don't want any glue. A bit, one, a bit, come on, right there, one drop. Uh, I will clean because I think I, I have the lights on my tip. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. Now we have to clean. Put alcohol. Put this here and 
this like this I think I think it's okay let me try if I did well also if you are sure that you can solder the small board you can remove this before it's easier done after mm, what I want to do I want my battery I want to connect my battery I want to on yes you can see green because I don't have my battery you can you cannot see any light here and if I connect the battery the light will change to red in this side but here we don't have any light more anymore I think anyone wants both lights so you can remove and finish I hope you enjoy with this video I hope you can you cannot have any problem and if you have some question you can ask me of course I will try to help you and in the next video we will see how to install a Game Boy Pocket Board for charging a Game Boy Pocket. This is a bit difficult, but we will see in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.